Welcome to Unit 10, Trend and Trend Lines. If you've done any research on your own, you've probably found the explanations of trend and trend lines. It's well known and well sourced, but it's often misquoted. What is a trend? It is the direction of price. That is it. Trend refers to the direction of prices. Rising peaks and troughs constitute an uptrend. Failing peaks and troughs constitute a downtrend. A trading range is characterized by horizontal peaks and troughs. Price is always trending. It's either trending in one of three directions. It's trending up, it's trending down, or it's sideways. So trend is also relative to length of time. So you have major trends and micro trends. There are Larger trends, which would be your major or your macro view, and that's going to be established on your higher time frames. And then you're going to have intermediate trends, which will be your smaller trends. And then you're going to have minor and micro trends, which will be your smaller time frames. Intermediate would be, say, you know, four to eight hour trend, whatever. It's subjective. You get the idea, though. As you cycle through time frames, you're going to have different levels of trends, I guess you should say, in terms of time frame, in terms of length. So on the chart here, I have a picture of the S&P 500 weekly chart just showing you a trend line that would be commonly drawn from the low and all of these points that are touching the red line would be a major uptrend and then I have shown you another significant uptrend maybe not as major but part of the major trend maybe it's an intermediate trend the yellow line which I've established a break of trend where that trend began to fail so keep in mind, there are trends within trends, which we will go into in much more detail in later lessons. It's possible to see a major trend on a smaller time frame if you're shifting time frames. But I struggled to use time frames together for a long time. It's exceptionally easy to shift to a smaller time frame and watch the price fall and think that the trend was lost or the trend had been broken only to shift back to a higher time frame and realize that it wasn't. So maybe let's see what an example of that would look like. Let's just say perhaps I had drawn my trend this way and on the smaller time frame, these two candles here, if I go to say a daily, let's see what that looks like real quick. Yes, this is a good example. On the daily, you might think that you broke trend and your trend is over. You're breaking trend. A lot of people would assume that price is setting up to go lower, but we actually didn't. Because when I switch to the higher time frame, guess what? I can see the trend is still basically intact. Price never really closed below it. We held that trend line and continued higher. It took me a long time to figure out, and you have to learn how to put together in your mind. A lot of uh, inexperienced traders, they just never get that piece of the puzzle, and, and they have a hard time getting there. That's what I want you to take away. I want you to start thinking about price in terms of trend. You need to understand the range and understand what needs to happen to get to your targets, as well as what must not happen to violate that idea, which applies in so many things, but in trend, a lot of it is the same. In order to continue higher in the uptrend, you shouldn't be violating the trend. And we'll get into that, especially when we talk about continuations and we start talking about levels. What are trend lines? You see it on the chart here. What is a trend line? It's a straight line drawn on the chart below reaction lows. So below or at reaction lows. All of these places that we're marking on the chart are the lows or the reaction points. You can see prices reacting from and continues to hold trend. So trend lines provide a visual understanding of price movement. If price does not break your trend line, then the trend remains intact, which it attempted to break it in various spots, but you notice we hold and continue higher, so the trend stays in intact. So that means you have to close outside of that trend line, and if price just penetrates the line, it does not necessarily mean that this trend is not intact. You have to close. So people that trade trend lines tend to use this rule. You short resistance and you long support. So you would long the test of the trend line. And then if you had another trend line higher here, maybe one up here, these spots would be areas that you short. This is bringing us to another concept called channels. A channel is a parallel line, or it doesn't have to be perfectly parallel, but nearly parallel, where price is trading between or a range. This happens all over the place on all different time frames. It's basically the same, but these channels form trend. Keep that in mind, trend lines and trend, be aware of them. 
start practicing drawing them, look at them with different time frames and how they react and how they all work together.